treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Oh god, she's blushing. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Muggy Lou! Yeah, I was thinking that. Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. Well, apparently our ship is busted, so let's go still one. Shall we? I mean, we are prisoners, after, uh, escape prisoners, after all. We might as well earn the title of escape prisoners. Battles on the way back, I suppose. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Oh, wrong button. Definitely not worth it. You better be ready. Victory is ours. You'll be rust on my blade. Your compassion for me. You ran away. As much as I love the fighting, I will take my leave of this area. I still gotta get back to uh, the city. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go through the main entrance. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. Sorry to hear that. Rich. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. 
steal a ship from Hell of Ease. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he could navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogulu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Ah, we'll end up saving her. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogulu. Rest in peace. <laughs> Vicious. Uh, try taking some ibuprofen or I'll leave. Oh, wow, I did not know you could cheat the system by doing that. Alright, there it is. Run away! Stupid eagle, get off of me! God damn it. That beetle was way fast. They were nothing. Yeah, she actually does use magic in the game to you. From what I saw of the demo. Yeah, I couldn't really figure out how to play her. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look. You're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. All right, one last good sharpening, and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know. After you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. Wow, she's not gonna let that go, is she? Why is there a big blue dot over here? Oh, war point. Well, that is also convenient. <coughs> I'll pick up the loot again. I have a bad feeling I'm going to be spending a lot of time picking up the loot and exploring versus actually playing the damn game. But you know what, that means I'm just going to try my best to cover everything I can. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. 
Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I would try to, but they do the cutscene. It was terrible. Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <laughs> okay, these white backgrounds are very hard on the eyes. No! Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. Ancestor. Hmm. Who was pregnant? Ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. Okay. I'm looking for a dead exorcist. I'm not seeing no dead exorcist. I think the tar consumed her, or him. Though I get the feeling you wanted me to search for the dead ex so you can check out that ass. Wait, one or more over there. Ah. <coughs> right. <coughs> You know, it doesn't hurt to look at a fine ass every once in a while. Come on, chase me, chase me. What you gonna do? Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. Yeah, she does have beautiful hair. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. Alright, I get to attack the front. 